OpenAI is now releasing Dolly 3, the next generation of its AI tool that can generate images, and now it's going to be integrated with ChatGPT. Here's a little sneak preview of how it's going to work. You write your prompt in the ChatGPT. Hey guys, Steve Page here from Giant Partners, the number one data-driven marketing agency in the U.S. Here we're talking about how you can create images using ChatGPT right within the tool. Now, OpenAI just released Dolly 3, and now it's integrating it right in the ChatGPT. You don't have to do, use it with the GPT-4, but now you can use it all in one tool, generate your prompts, generate your images, and create something really awesome within the platform. Here's the, the rest of this demo that you can see how it works. generating images, it can suggest prompts. The quality is much better than the past generation of Dolly, Dolly 2, something to keep in mind. Very cool and very easy to use. So if you haven't used, used ChatGPT yet, uh, just go to chat.openai.com and kind of play around with it, get used to it. Because Dolly 3 is now be integrated, so you definitely want to get used to both tools so you can generate some really awesome imagery. Uh, so what, Dolly, what is Dolly 3? Dolly 3 understands significantly more nuance and detail than their previous systems, allowing you to easily translate your ideas into exceptional, accurate images. You see some of the images people generated. Here's some prompts that they added. So you can see an illustration of an avocado sitting in a therapist's chair saying, I just feel so empty inside with a pit sized hole in its center. This one is a 2D animation of a folk music band composed of anthropomorphic autumn leaves playing traditional bluegrass instruments. And here's some more examples. So right now it's just in research and it's coming out soon in October 2023. So modern text to image systems have a tendency to ignore words or descriptions forcing users to learn prompt engineering. Dolly 3 represents a leap forward in our ability to generate images that exactly adhere to the text you provide. So they're trying to make it easy for just anybody can create an image that they want. You can understand better nuances, context around your prompts so you don't have to create these huge mega prompts to get something you're looking for. You can use less words, and ChatGPT can actually help you create prompts to get you what you're looking for. Here's some examples of prompts in this old English illustration that it shows in the example. And take a look here at the difference between the new version Dolly 3 and the old version Dolly 2. Here's the example of two images side by side. Dolly 2 on the left, and Dolly 3 on the right. And this is the prompt is an expressive oil painting of a basketball player dunking depicted as an explosion of a nebula. You can see here the one on the left, much more abstract, kind of blurry, not much detail to it, versus the one on the right, which is Dolly 3. The detail of the net, the detail of the rim, the basketball player, you can see the muscles of the basketball player, the biceps. The basketball looks like a basketball, the other one just looks like a orange circle. The difference is drastic. So this is a huge improvement on uh, their image generation from OpenAI. So you should be really excited about being able to use ChatGPT and Dolly together in the chat tool to make it easy for you to generate these images. So Dolly 3 is built natively on ChatGPT, which lets you use ChatGPT as a brainstorming partner and refiner of your prompts. Just ask ChatGPT what you want to see in anything from a simple sentence to a detailed paragraph. When prompted with an idea, ChatGPT will automatically generate tailored detailed prompts for Dolly 3 that bring your idea to life. If you like a particular image that's not quite right, you can ask ChatGPT to make tweaks with just a few words. Dolly 3 will be available to ChatGPT Plus and Enterprise customers in early October, October 2023. As with Dolly 2, the images you create with Dolly 3 are yours to use and you don't need their permission to reprint, sell, or merchandise them. So you see the ChatGPT AI tool will help you create images and kind of troubleshoot you and work together to make these images great. 
kind of making you like an AI assistant to make these images even better, which not a lot of these other AI gen generation tools have. A few other details about Dolly 3. They have some things in place to help with harmful generations. So for example, the client requests to ask for a public figure by name, see performance of risk areas like generation of public figures and harmful biases related to visual over underrepresentation in partnership with red teamers, domain experts who stress test the model to inform our risk assessment mitigation efforts in areas like propaganda and misinformation. So it won't create something in an image that may be used for false information. Most likely there's probably not like nudity and violence and certain some of those the AI image tools won't you do that either so there's probably some of those safety uh, measures in place there's also internal testing happening as well and when you talk about creative control Dolly 3 is designed to decline requests that ask for an image in the style of a living artist creators can now also opt their images out from the training of our featured image generation models so any artists that exist now that have virtual art or even painted art these AI tools will just crawl it and sometimes we'll kind of copy and mimic the style so these artists can now opt out of that so if you want to make a, a hedgehog within the style of Picasso and Picasso opted out they may decline that request and not do it for you so if you opt out of the request you won't be able to make image art of that style by requesting it in the prompt so to just keep in mind but then again just kind of go down you can see so many cool images that people were able to generate with uh, Dolly 3. So it's very exciting stuff. You've got to create so many cool images with these image generation tools. Some of these other image generation tools out there. The Bing Image Creator, that's our po already powered by Dolly, OpenAI, and Microsoft. Bing are basically the same company. Um, that is a free tool that already has it. So if that gets access to Dolly 3, that's going to get even better. Here's the Dolly 2, which was mentioned in this older article, but it's soon will be Dolly 3, which you'll have to have the upgraded account of OpenAI to be able to access. There's one called Stability, Dream Studio by Stability AI. It's free with credits. Dream by Wombo, another one. Crayon, another one. Midjourney is a very popular one. It runs on Discord, which some people like, some people don't like. It's very similar to the that ChatGPT style where you can prompt, it generates images, prompt again, generate images, where that doesn't actually that doesn't help you as much it's not a virtual assistant where it's just keep prompting and testing where in ChatGPT and the Dolly 3 it'll actually work with you to get what you're looking for as a result like an AI assistant would and last one my heritage all time machine is free with the fee there's other ones like Jasper art for example is a pretty good one that does it there's a lot of these AI image tools out there another feature the of why you should use a tool from OpenAI and uh, Dolly 3 is its integration with Zapier. So if you are ever generating any images based off of a form submission or data in a certain place, so if someone fills out a form on your website or uh, requests information, you can start generating images by passing it from Zap um, that form submission through Zapier and output an image into an email. I'll put that image onto a Google Doc or uh, somewhere where someone can see it. So one use case of this is if you get uh, a new client of some sort and they answer a bunch of questions. Maybe it's about their business, about what they're looking for in the service or a product. You can have them fill out a form or enter a bunch of information and then you can use Zapier to push that information Let's say, like you see the example here, Slack to OpenAI to Slack, Airtable to OpenAI to Gmail, a form to OpenAI to Google Sheet. Like they fill out that form, it gets ingested into the Dolly step and then generates that image on a Google Sheet. Or it gets put in an email and sends out to that client. So if that person is looking to uh, customize a, like a shoe in a certain way or looking for something for their business you can generate some ideas right away whether it's for your team or you can send it back to the client and ask if it's what they're looking for so you can automate a bunch of uh, image ideas and um, brainstorming right from a form submission using a tool like Zapier and OpenAI to um, generate that super quick 
And Zapier is also a plugin in OpenAI. So now in, uh, in ChatGPT, you can see on ChatGPT 4, you can have a bunch of plugins. And this is just a handful of them. Zapier is one of them. And you go into the plugin store, there's a bunch of different plugins coming in uh, every day, every week, every month. Uh, so just definitely play around with those. There's uh, enhancers that can help enhance your prompt if you're going to be working with images. It'll help you enhance it. Maybe you want to digest a PDF and generate images off of that. Um, there's all these cool integrations and tools that you could eventually integrate with generating uh, those images with. So definitely look into these plugins as well to just kind of supercharge your ChatGPT for experience. And I look forward to seeing what we create with this uh, new integration with ChatGPT and Dolly 3. Look forward to seeing what you guys create as well. If you thought this video was helpful, be sure to like it. Also subscribe if you haven't yet. If you have any questions, feel free to drop that in the comments and we'll see you next time.